In this lesson, what we're going to look at is how to check or verify solutions to systems of equations. This is not uh, only applicable to after we've solved by graphing. It's also applicable to solving algebraically or if you're given a point to check. Uh, so this is applicable to all sections in this unit. Uh, in the previous example, or previous lesson, what I should say, is we solved this system. We graphed the quadratic function. We graphed the linear function. Uh, we found out, and you can look in the last lesson for it, we found out where the solutions or the intersection points were. But what it may ask us to do also beyond that is not only to solve each system, which is what I've done, but also to check or verify your solutions. The way that we do that is simply to substitute each of our solutions into both of the functions because in order for it to be a solution, that point must exist on both functions. So let's go ahead and, and do that. Okay, so in this first example, what I'm going to do is check the solution 6, 7. So I'm going to check to see if 6, 7 is a solution. And in order to do that, all I do is substitute. I'm going to substitute it into both functions. So if I substitute into the first function, I'll have 7 is equal to 6 squared minus 6 times 6 plus 7. And just evaluate each side. 7 is equal to 36 minus 36 plus 7. 7 equals 7. It's a solution to that particular function, but you also have to substitute the same point into the other function, in this case the linear function. So it would be y, which is 7, is equal to 2x, which is 6 minus 5. So this would be 7 is equal to 12 minus 5. 7 is equal to 7. Yes, that point is a solution. So we've already checked the point 6, 7. Uh, I'm going to check my other solution, which if you look above, is the point 2, negative 1. And to do that, I need to check it in both of the functions. So in this case, you can see it's going to be negative 1 in the quadratic function is equal to 2 squared minus 6 times 2 plus 7. So that's going to be negative 1 is equal to 4 minus 12 plus 7. And if we do this correctly, negative 1 equals negative 1. So it's a solution to that particular function. But we need to make sure it's a solution to the other function, which would be negative 1 is equal to 2 times 2 minus 5. So this is negative 1 is equal to 4 minus 5. Negative 1 equals negative 1. So they are solutions. We've just checked to make sure that both of those points uh, are solutions to both uh, functions. So let's just do that once more. Uh, you'll see that it's pretty straightforward, but just be careful in some cases to know what variables you're dealing with. Uh, in fact, uh, so in this particular case, the first variable is d, and the second variable is h. If you look at the last lesson, you'll see how we solve this. So I'm just going to go ahead and check each point. So our solution, uh, our first solution that I'm going to check is, I'm going to go ahead and check 0, negative 1. So we have 0 is equal to 0 squared plus 4 times 0 minus 2 times negative 1 minus 2. So we have 0 is equal to, this is 0, this is 0, 2 minus 2, 0 equals 0 is correct. If I check it in the other one, it's 0 is equal to h. So I only look interest in the h coordinate, which is negative 1 plus 1. So 0 equals 0. That's also a solution. Let's go ahead and check the other point, And then I'll introduce one other topic, and we'll be done with this lesson. Uh, so let's go ahead and check the other solution, which is negative 4, negative 1. If at any point you want to pause this video and try one of them yourselves, that may be valuable. You can do that in any lesson that you'd like to. Uh, so in this particular case, we have 0 is equal to negative 4 squared plus 4 times negative 4 minus 2 <clears throat> times, sorry, am I making a mistake? No. 2 times negative 1 minus 2. So this is 0 is equal to 16 minus 16 plus 2 minus 2. 0 does, in fact, equal 0. And if we check the other equation, we have 0 is equal to h, which is negative 1 plus 1. So 0 equals 0, yes. So they're both solutions to both functions. It is a solution. Uh, in the last example, what I'm going to do is actually not solve, but only check a particular point. So just a different way to represent the exact same type of problem or type of thing that we're coming up against here. In this example, I'm just going to check, is negative 3 and 2 a solution to the system? So all we're going to do is check that point in both of these functions, and if it exists on both functions, it is an intersection point. Uh, so let's go ahead and check negative 3, 2 in the first function. So this is 3 times negative 3 minus 4 times 2 is equal to negative 17. So we have negative 9 minus 8 is equal to negative 17. It is a solution to that particular function. Let's just check the other function. And we have, and again, you may want to try this yourself, negative 3 squared minus 2 times negative 3 plus 3 times 2 minus 3 is equal to 0. So this is 9 plus 6 
plus 6 minus 3 equals 0. And in this particular case, what we get is 18 equals 0. That isn't. So the answer to this question is no.